They're creepy and they're kooky, mysterious and spooky. They're all together, ooky, the Adams family. Their house is a museum when people come to see them. They really are a scream, the Adams family. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is Ashtoberfest Day 4 and I'm doing Morticia Adams. I think Wednesday Adams might be a little bit more popular in the costume world, so I wanted to do Morticia. And I really love the way that this look turned out, especially with this wig. I was obsessed. So I really hope you guys are enjoying Ashtoberfest so far, and I can't wait to show you the rest of it. A few quick things before we get into this video. I wanted to tell you guys that I did put up a couple new things on my merch store. There's now a lime green shirt and a black shirt with red ink. So if you guys want to check that out, that's always linked down below. Those are very limited edition because I'm going to be bringing in a few other things like hats and beanies. Because I asked you guys on Twitter what you'd like to see and literally everybody said beanies and hats. So I'm working on that right now. I actually drew a really cute design and if you follow me on Snapchat, you saw it yesterday. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, you should go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Obviously, you're here watching Ashtoberfest, and there's going to be way more tutorials this month, and I can't wait for you guys to see them, so let's go ahead and get into the video. For foundation today, I'm using my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation in the shade Y205. This is the lightest foundation shade that I have, and Morticia is very ghost-like. Also, please just excuse my little earlobe there. I'm allergic to every type of metal, and every time I wear an earring, that's what happens to my ears, so. I'm just blending this out all over my face with my beauty blender, and I also took it down my neck a little bit after, but I don't think I caught that on camera. For concealer, I'm using my Kat Von D Whiteout Concealer because it's pure white and beautiful. So I'm putting that under my eyes, my forehead, my nose, my chin, and then I'm just gonna blend it out with my beauty blender and get it super blended into that foundation. To set my base, I'm using my RCMA No Color Powder. This is just a pure white translucent powder. I really like this powder, but I've been seeing a lot of people use different types of setting powders, and I think I wanna try something else. So if you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. So I'm going to leave my face for now and go right for those brows. I'm using my Anastasia Waterproof Cream Color in the shade Jet. This is just a pure black cream color and it works really well in the brows. I'm also using their brush. I believe this is a number 15 brush, which is really nice. It's really flat and skinny, so you can get a perfect straight line. For my brows, I wanted to do a really blocky, triangle, pointy <laughs> type look. So that's why I'm doing my arch a little bit like that and going straight out. Taking a pure white shadow by Sugar Pill, I'm just putting that on my brow bone and dragging it down onto my lid. For my eyes, I'm taking Sugar Pill's Castle on the Hill eyeshadow and I'm using that as a transition shade. I love this eyeshadow. It's like a mauvey gray and it goes really well if you're gonna be using black eyeshadow. So I'm just using my IT Cosmetics for Ulta number 105 airbrush brush. <laughs> it's my favorite blending brush. If you guys have watched my videos, you know I use this brush every single day. Next, I'm adding Sugar Pill's Bulletproof eyeshadow, and I'm just taking that on the outer corner. This will give a little bit of a dramatic smoky eye effect once I add liner. I'm going back and forth with those two shades just to build them up and blend them out. I'm also taking that a little bit further in towards my inner corner. You'll see me go back and forth a little bit just as I build those up, but I'm leaving the space on my lid clear for the shade Ice Angel, also by Sugar Pill. It's like a really pretty white sparkly shade. And I'm just gonna put that on the inner corner and center of my lid. To start off my wing, I'm using a little felt tip liner. This one's by Japanesque. And I like this one because I can get super close to my lash line and I can also map out a really nice shape. I don't like to fill in my liner with this shadow, I just like to use it to trace out my wing. Once I have the shape down, I'm going back in with a liner that's a little bit more wet and easier to use. This one's by Rimmel. To line my lower lash line, I'm using my Urban Decay 24-7 Liner in Perversion. Like I said in my last video, I am now allergic to this out of nowhere and I'm very, very sad because it's my favorite eyeliner. 
I'm just taking my Anastasia double-sided brush from the Subculture palette and blending out that liner a little bit. Also taking the shades Castle on the Hill and Bulletproof just to get that a little bit darker and more smoky. For an inner corner highlight, I'm taking my Urban Decay Liquid Moon Dust Shadow in the shade Chemtrail and I'm just going to dot that on and then pat that in with my finger to get a little sparkly look. I know this isn't a traditional Morticia Adams look, but I wanted to put my own twist on it. Now it's time for lashes, so I'm just adding mascara to my top and bottom lashes and I'm going to go in with my Iconic Light Lashes because they're my favorite. But I promise you guys I won't use Iconic Lights for the entire Ashtoberfest series. I will branch out and use different lashes. To contour my face, I'm also using Castle on the Hill by Sugar Pill. I find that this is the most beautiful contour shade when you're doing a very pale, ghost-like look. It's my absolute favorite. I'm also using that same shade to contour my nose using my Time Los Angeles little brush. To highlight, I'm going to be using my favorite highlighter, which is my Urban Decay Naked Illuminated Shimmering Skin Powder in the shade Luminous. I don't know why they felt the need to name it something so crazy. So I normally just call it my Luminous Highlighter, so if you hear me say that in the future, that's what I'm talking about. For lips, I wanted to do a bright red, so I went in with Max Russian Red, which is normally my favorite red lipstick of all time. Up until a few weeks ago when I went to Sephora and bought a Tom Ford lipstick, and now that is my favorite red lipstick. <laughs> the lipstick was way too expensive, but I don't want to talk about it. Um, I ended up going over top of Russian Red with Anastasia's Seraphine liquid lipstick because it was a little bit more of a deep red and I thought it fit better with this look. To complete this look, I just need to put on my wig. And this wig is by a brand called Donna Love Hair. And I will link the wig down below. This wig is really, really good if you're going to be doing some kind of Kim Kardashian look. I feel like it's her hair exactly. It is a synthetic lace front wig. The lace only goes a couple inches back, so it's not anything crazy. But it works and gets the job done for your Halloween costume. So that is it for this Morticia Adams look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what other costumes you think I'm going to be doing this month. I still haven't finished filming all of them, so there is a chance that I could switch my list around and throw something else on there that you guys might want to see a little bit more than something I might already have. So let me know. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. That is just at Lee with four E's. I always link it down below and it is on the top of the screen. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. The house is a museum when people come to see them. They really are a scream. The Adams family.